come to protest the mission as well? The news has spread to every village. St. Odwigs cannot resist much longer. And once it relents, all others will follow in its wake. Father Dinwell is denying that women can be ordained as members of the Order of Mitharu, despite scripture to the contrary. I know that they've got the proof in their reliquary, an ancient ordination tome. All are welcome into Mitharu's embrace. Ha! <laughs> the hypocrites! Don't commit any crimes on my account. Of course, if Mitharu compels you to see justice done, then I won't stand in your way. The Brothers of St. Odwig's perpetual mission keep the valuable tome in their reliquary, but no one out... Oh, I didn't see you come in. I was reading this letter, and is there anything I... Can I... I never thought it would happen. They're coming. Even with everything else going on in this village, the Red Legion is coming for me. I was not always the pious man you see before you, but plunder could not sustain me. It's all here in Red's letter. He demands we satisfy the blood right. Two lives for one. He'll let me go, but only if I kill the men who deserted with me. But I cannot. I could hand myself over to Red, but he'd have me killed. The only other choice is to kill the men who left with me. I can't do that. I'm not the man I used to be. I am sorry you feel that way. Perhaps... Farewell, my friend. Great Mitharu, you found the ordination tome. I'd give a sack of gold to see the look on Father Dinwell's face. He will no longer be able to deny my entrance to the order. Thank you. I won't need any gold as a servant of Mitharu. Take what I have. It's yours. I will remember you in my prayers.
speak oh. with two legs. Please help me. Are the two legs are cruel? They will not help. No, I am cursed. You believe me? Many think I am just another two legs. They are wrong. I am a wolf, cursed to wear this shape by evil sprites as some cruel game. I still have wolf thoughts in my head, but two-leg bodies are so clumsy, they can't even catch dumb meat birds. The sprites are near. Even now, I smell them. Thank you, two legs. Be warned. The sprites have much magic. For the, the sprites guard the well, which is near the river to the north. Hunt well. <laughs> Come to me empty-handed. What is the meaning of this? The well holds powerful magic, as old as these trees. Throughout the forest, it would vanish and reappear before I was cursed. I remember... <laughs> strongly atop the water was the scent of leechwood. Perhaps the well seeks that. Leechwood? That is the two-leg name for that wood that feasts on strength. The scent of the well was strong with its odor. Hunt well. Oh. Oh. Speak with me. Oh. <laughs>
Oh. It is there, two legs. The scent of water. Faint, but it does not escape me. I now go to the wilds and rejoin my pack. And now you may continue on your path, but with the knowledge of how to fight with the strength of a wolf. Now I shall drink deep of this potion and return to my kind. Oh. Proceed no farther, mortal. You are not one of our kind, and the seat of Sir Sacral will never be occupied by one so mundane. Hallam the White prepares the contest, and he must not be interrupted at this our time of greatest need. No doubt you speak of Illuvia, impetuous fool. I told her to avoid your settlement to avoid Odoroth altogether. I will chastise her appropriately upon her return. It is a loss, yes, but not the first unexpected event in this telling. What happened? Yes, I have noticed a growing number of humans in Dalentarth. Oh, yes, your kind usually expects some form of trophy for good deeds. If you would be so kind as to deliver this message. We mean the people of Gorhart no ill will. They have nothing to fear from us. I should not be seen talking to you. It isn't good for my reputation. Farewell. Listen, all of you. As you've Mundane clearly heard, don't belong in Fey a rev This does not concern you, mortal. You would not, could not, understand. Sir Sagril's passing leaves his legend in peril. A seat in the House of Ballads cannot remain empty, lest the great stories end. And that must never happen. Sir Sagril, Slayer of Volzigan, Lord of the Morning Mists, and Defender of the Crown of Haxi, was one of our most beloved knights. Several days ago, he departed to do battle with the Grave Fresh, his most famous and legendary foe. In this telling, 
It was the Thresh that bested Sagru. Such an outcome has never happened. You are bold, but that is not how tales are told in the House of Ballads. Only a worthy Fey hero may finish his quest. However, these are strange times. If you so choose, join the other pledges. You too may attempt to defeat the Grave Thresh, recover Sagril's ring, and take his seat in the House of Ballads. The lair of the Thresh is east of this great house, in the hollow of Gorgoth. In the go now, the young race is a so and curious. make the song your own. the best, Marshal. You have no role in fey telling. This story belongs to one of us, not some whelp fresh from the cradle. First that strange maiden, now this. What is it you want here in Gorgoath? Alas, Agril's is a twisted tale, and we could use every available hand. We were too late to catch the thresh as it fed. Now the beast slumbers guarded by the vines and weeds of Gorgoath. If we can destroy the roots before they take hold, we can rouse the beast. Come. I'll keep the Thresh occupied while you seek out the heart vines. Keep your eyes open.
How can this be? Sir Sagrel dead? I do not understand. Such a tragedy has never occurred in this song. At the end of this ballad, Sagrel defeats the Grave Thresh. He is victorious. I don't know how, but someone has changed the song of Sir Sagrel. Listen, we are not alone. I do not like you. Sir Sagrel was a clever rogue of great and merry cheer. Oh, come and listen to the song of he who had no fear, of he who we hold dear. Again, my friend, I believe congratulations are in order. 
Isn't that how you mortals express appreciation? Take care. It's amazing. A child of dust has defeated the Grave Thresh. You were granted the seat of Sir Sacral and all privileges here too, including membership in the Court of Enchantments. Alas, there is no time for celebration. There has been another incident. The King has asked for you, one similar to the plight of Sagril, I dare say. Another erratic chain of events. The Ballad of Bloody Bones has taken an unexpected turn. The great Sir Ferrara has been sent to face this new challenge. But he will need your assistance. That is how the song is sung. Sir Ferrara tracks the villain Bloody Bones to his lair and rescues the fair maiden, sacrificing himself in the process. This is Ferrara's most selfless act, to give up his own glory for the good of another. It has always been this way and must be preserved for all. In every telling, Sir Ferrara falls at the hands of bloody bones, but he is not left to perish alone in the cold of Uduab. Sagril revives the fallen hero and brings him back to the lights of this summer life. Without Sagril, without you, this ballad cannot be sung. Excellent. Speak with King Wenson in the oratory. Take this potion. You will need it to revive Sir Ferrara. You will know when the time has come to use it. Now go, find King Wenson. The Court of Enchantments has marched south to face the threat and to quell rumors. They reside in the House Oratory in Ettenmere. Off with you. Thank <laughs> you. 